Hey, what up guys, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dr. Stump Volume Number 2. Um, I'm going to show you the back real quick, and then we'll check out the chapters. And basically this series is in hopes to uh, get people to take a look at this series. Um, here's the ones that included. And I'm going to try to talk about what happened in the previous volume. Um, just kind of some of the more uh, interesting things, and also what goes on in this one. Um, just in hopes to introduce people more to these characters and this universe. Um, so, this has a bunch of reoccurring characters, but are not considered main. Like, for example, these officers, for example. They come here and, and here and there. And, um, but more of, like, the more, like, main character type people are Akane, um, Pizuke, Arale, her, uh, uh, her inventor, Senbei, um, and as I'm going through this, you might see characters that, like, look interesting and everything like that, and they have a, you know, interesting introduction to the series, but don't really come back too often, or, or not, not long enough to be considered, like, a main cast member or anything like that, or an arc relating to, to that new character. Um, so I'm actually going to go back to the front. Uh, right here we saw Booby Bean Man, and basically this is an alien character that actually went to school with Superman, not Superman. Um, so yeah, like the DC Comics one, that's kind of the joke. And um, so on this planet, he's like, okay, I'm going to become all powerful and stuff like that. Um, I don't remember exactly what his plot was exactly, but when he bumps into a Raleigh, he tries to prove himself that he's so superior and everything like that. And with a little smack, as you see here, she makes him fly away, crashing from the Earth to the Moon, and so on, and then crashing back down. Um, so really strong feat of strength right there. Uh, then, a little later, he is uh, lifting some weights. And I mean, he genuinely is strong, but um, watch what happens when the Arale gets a chance to lift it herself. So this uh, bar right here is 200 tons. He tries to lift it, and oh my bad, actually he doesn't get to lift it, but he thought he would. And who knows if like Earth's gravity, you know, messed him up or whatever. But that's 200 tons. He wasn't able to do it, and Arale could easily. So there you go. That's another feat of strength that she has. And uh, during that wrestling match, uh, which is another test, was when she made him crash like that, and. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, the the funny like plot twist or whatever is that he tries out um, poop for the first time. He actually like tastes it, and he figures that he actually really likes it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's just that's fantastic. Um, I think if I remember correctly, he was trying to wonder like why Arale was um, interested in it, and, and as soon as he sees it, he just yeah decides to, uh, to try it. <laughs> Uh, us, and then we got Gachan right here. Gachan was in um, the previous book at the very end. Um, she was brought back from the past. Um, when the egg hatched that she was in, uh, that's basically it. Like, she just kind of stuck around as a Raleigh's friend. And um, there's a couple inventions here that are wor uh, worth noting. So there is the this machine right here. Um, basically, and this is the 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 first one of that um, machine. In the other book, uh, well, I should say in um, Super, the reality machine number two is basically that, but this one broke if I'm not mistaken. And then so in Dr. S um, Slump's crossover with Super, number two is created, and you know, you probably remember what happened in that episode, um, where they imagined stuff, and when they opened it up, it came out. Um, it was a piece of like food um, And then here we also got this invention which is the Ponpoco morph gun you pointed at someone you imagine what you want it to be and then it becomes that um, So yeah, and then dr. Slump volume 1 and 2 and like early on in the series are way more like gag filled relating to inventions but um, like I'm currently on volume 8 uh, about to start that one and like, the series is not really focused on that as much anymore. Uh, it comes here and there, but the humor has shifted to other stuff. Like, the new characters they introduce, and so on. Um, but yeah. 
Uh, see, so we got the principal there. We have had the cops. Um, Akane is cousins to Taro and Pisuke. And I we just found that out too in Volume 7. Um, in one of the trivia pages. Which I really like Toriyama uh, did that. Um, instead of just like a cover page like this. Um, I mean, this is fun too. Don't get me wrong. Like people could cut it out and play around with um, whatever he sets up here. But then he also has like kind of like a Q&A type thing for you to fill out. And you get points and stuff like that based on if you get the answers correct. And right there is where, um, well at least I think, was the first time we were told that they were actually cousins. Um, so that's that's really cool. That's really neat. Uh, fascinating way to do some world building. Um, and yeah. I think I'll go ahead and end uh, this video here. Um, let me know what exactly you want me to talk about when I cover these volumes. Um, this series is not at all like Dragon Ball. It's really hard to talk about it in the same kind of way. Um, the humor is similar, of course, but that's about it. And um, uh, the other thing I mentioned was that Clark Kent, uh, he's here again. He's interviewing them and stuff. But uh, in the previous book, he was actually there for one uh, image. And it was just a little gag where... You know, Senbei had created an invention, um, some glasses where you could see through some clothing, and Superman, uh, well, Superman was in the background flying, and he was naked. But uh, here, he's um, more so in the forefront as a character, but not um, Superman yet. Um, not until Volume 3, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I'll just leave it like that. Hopefully, you guys can uh, pick this up at some point. I highly recommend it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.